In this video, you will learn how to do exploratory data analysis. It's very easy to do EDA in PyCaret. You just have to call one function EDA and it will do everything for you. First, let's load the data set from PyCaret dot data sets import get underscore data. This function get underscore data will fetch the data set for us and save in an object. I'll make an object juice because I'm calling the juice data set from this pie caret. I will call this function get underscore data and then inside this function I will pass the data set name in single or double quotes. The data set name is juice. I'll let's execute our code. And now you will see in the output, we got the data set here and we have this column such as ID, purchase, week of purchase, store ID, price CS, price MM, disk CS, disk MM and so on. In this data set, purchase is our target variable where we are trying to find from which, uh, from which store it was purchased. Now let's look at what where different values are present in this variable purchase. For this, I will call this object juice and inside this, I will call this variable purchase and then I will call the function value underscore counts and this will tell us what different categories are present. So here you will see in this variable purchase, there are two different categories. One is CH and the second one is MM. Now the next step is to do the setup and setup function to do EDA, it is very important to create this function. Setup function pre process our data set and prepare it for EDA and model building. And to do the setup function, first we will need to import classification module. I will call from pycaret dot classification import star. I am loading all the functions from this classification module. Now I'm going to make one object exp underscore name. You can give it any name and then I will call this setup function. Inside the setup function, we have to pass two parameters. The first parameter is the data frame name and the second parameter is a target variable. Our data frame name is juice. So I will write here data is equal to juice. Data is our first parameter. We have to pass the data frame name, which is juice here. And then the second parameter is target and in this we have to pass the target variable so here the target variable is purchase I will pass here purchase and now let's call now let's execute our code now it will ask us to press enter so this will do the setup and pre-process our data set now you will see here we are getting this processing and the initiated time. So the time at which I'm recording this video is this time 0837 status is pre-processing data. And here you will see one message following data types have been inferred automatically. If they are correct, press enter to continue or type quit. Otherwise, since the data type of these columns are correct, I'm going to press enter. And once I press enter, you will see we are getting a lot of information here. So we have this description and its value. For example, we have the session ID value is 772. Then we have the target variable, which is purchase target type is binary label encoded for CH. The label is zero for MM label is one. The original data size is 1070 and the number of columns are 19. We can also check that I will write here juice dot shape and you will see in the output. So we have this 1070 rows and 19 columns. There are many informations available here. You can go through it. Now we are going to perform EDA and to perform EDA first we need to import the matplotlib. I will write here import matplotlib dot pyplot as plt and then percentage matplotlib in line now we will launch the eda and to do eda we just have to call one function eda and inside this we have to pass one parameter that is a display format 
I will call this function EDA and inside this I will pass parameter display underscore format and the format is going to be bokeh and if I execute the code you will see we will get the graphs here and here you will receive one message alert from version 0.1.37 after importing you must do percentage matplotlib inline to display charts in Jupyter Notebook and we have already done that you will see here we have done here percentage matplotlib inline and now you will see we in the output we got all the charts here so we have this EDA first we got this uh, scatter plot and I'll just click here so that we can see it properly so we have this first chart here scatter plot of each independent numeric variable so this is the scatter plot of each independent numeric variable with the target variable since our target variable is categorical and we are doing the scatter plot with numerical and categorical variable that is why here we are not getting this proper chart here so you will see we are getting just some dots dots here and these are if you choose other variables so you will see here we are getting this dot dot because one variable is continuous and the other variable is binary that is why now if I go down you will see here here we have this scatter plot between this loyal ch versus price difference since these two are continuous variable we are getting a nice scatter plot here you can also play around with this x axis and you have you will get this drop down you can choose any other price here and then you will get a different plot it is price difference versus the price different and on the y axis you can choose this loyal ch you can play around with this and you can also see if there are any color present you can color it by purchase then you have this purchase histogram by each categorical variable so we have this uh, in red color the per target variable and which is mm category and in blue color the target variable the category is ch and then we have this by category by this histogram so if you see here uh, you will see week of purchase this variable is uh, this histogram is for the variable week of purchase and this one is also for week of purchase then if you see here uh, you will go to different scatter plot you will see different variables and its value so you can play around this wheel with it also here we have selected this week of purchase and you can choose any other variable let's say instead of this uh, variable I will choose store and now you will see in the output we will get the result by store so you will see so we have this for store 0 store 1 store 2 store 3 and store 4 you can also play with other variables let's say special ch and now the graph will change so you will see here we have this with ch special ch and here also you will see special ch is equal to 1 and here it is 0 then if you come down you will get this kernel density plot and you can also play with this variables here instead of this ch you can choose any other let's say price mm and you will get a different plot here so this is the kernel density plot and uh, if you go down you will get the histogram and kd of target purchase so this is the histogram here and then we have this volume plot you will see here we are getting this nice volume plot also then below this we have this heat map for all the continuous variables including target to get the correlation we can use this heat map and you will see here we are getting the correlation between different variables with this heat map you can find the correlation between different variables then we have this uh, plot for this week of purchase and loyal ch so this is also a histogram here then you will see all this graphs present with this one just with the use of this one function EDA if you call this function EDA you will get all the graphs here and you will be able to do the EDA and here in the end you will see the time to run autoviz in seconds it took only three seconds to do all this EDA 
This is how you can apply the ADF function on your data set, not just with the juice data set, but you can apply the same function on any other data set of your choice. Let me take one more example before we finish our video. Now, instead of this choose data set, I will call the iris data set here and I will change the object name also iris. I'll execute the code here and here in this data set, you will see species is a target variable. So I'll copy this target variable and I'll paste it here. And if I run this code, you will see in the output. So we also need to change this object to iris here and if i do that you will see in the output we have this three categories iris setosa iris virginica iris wasi color and we have the counts here and to do the setup function here we will call this iris object and you will see in the output here also we need to change the target variable which is going to be species and now you will see we got here this message i'll press enter and once I press enter, you will see we have done the pre-processing and we are getting some information here. And once it is done, then I will call this ADA function. And if I call this ADA function, you will see in the output, we are getting the plot. So this is the scatter plot of each independent numeric variables against the target variable. And this plot is of no use because one variable is continuous and the other is binary. Uh, this is multi-class problem where we have three categories not binary and then if you come down you will see we have the sepal length versus sepal width and this is the scatter plot then we have the kernel density plot here for all the numeric variables by classes so here we have this label this the blue color is for iris setosa this orange for iris versicolor and yellow for iris virginica and if i go down you will see we have this kernel histogram and the kernel destiny density plot of target variable species then we have this volume plot and the heat map for continuous variable including target here and we have uh, so here you will see we have this format ed underscore display format is bouquet there is one more format and let me copy the code from here and if i call this function here instead of this i will type here svg now let's let us press this let us execute the line of code and now you will see in the output we will get a uh, different charts here so this is the other format which is svg and here you will see the difference so here the plots are in different shapes here so we have this scatter plot of continuous variables versus target and these scatter plots then we have this pairwise scatter plot of all continuous variable these plots are good and they are beautiful because they are for the continuous variable so you can interpret these plot but these plots are not uh, very useful because one variable is continuous and the other is the target then we have the distribution of each variable so for this we have this for the sepal length this is for petal length that is the histogram then we have this distribution against the target this is the percentage distribution this is the frequency distribution so they are all in the same frequency 50 for each class that is why the percentage is also same 0.33 percent then we have this box plot here for each species we have the sepal length sepal width and then we have one heat map for all the continuous variables and the target is going to be species so you can see that with this two format you can do the eda and you will get all the results with just one function and it's very easy to use it is very all it is also very helpful when you are building a model so you can first do the eda then you can decide which variables to choose for the model building or you can do the pre-processing again based on these charts this video was about EDA in PyCaret. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.